Behold, prosthetic limbs, but where did they come from? Meet Chaz Holder, born in Michigan in 1947. Chaz Holder was never your typical doctor. During the Vietnam War, he spent time in Cambodia and studied at the Phnom Penh Wat Medical College. In the late 1970s, he lost part of his left arm in an industrial accident. After the war, Chaz ran a car dealership and became a master Ferrari mechanic. He also raced Ferraris for several years. In 1980, disaster struck, and he was hospitalized for six months. He didn't quit racing, though, even after he lost his legs. In one form or another, prosthetic limbs have been around for thousands of years. But here's the thing. They've usually been clumsy, uncomfortable, and expensive. Chaz Holder decided to improve the design. His design differs from previous artificial limbs in several important ways. First, it eliminates the traditional socket attachment. Sockets are usually attached to the remaining segment of a limb. In the case of child amputees, this socket must be regularly changed as the child grows. Instead of this socket, Chaz's design uses a sling of non-stretch fabric to hold the limb to the body. The prosthesis is made from aluminum and plastic so it's cheaper to produce. Chaz started a company to sell these products, and he also distributed them for free in third world countries.